About a year ago, me and my brother were heading back to ASU campus from Phoenix uh, after going to church with my family and having lunch with them. We are on our way back, and we witnessed an accident. A car lost control, hit the median, came back out into traffic, and it hit the median again and came to rest. So we pulled off the road in front of the car, in between the median and the anchovy lane, so there's an area with no traffic. And I go to check on the people in the car, and at this time, a truck stops behind the car in the HOV lane, and when I'm talking to people in the car, a uh, car hits a truck, the truck starts spinning, and the truck hits me, and I got, according to my brother, I was launched about 15 feet forward and landed on my head and shoulder and slid about another 15 feet. The word traumatic brain injury had been used, but we didn't really know what that was. And so, I mean, I was kind of like, oh, bad concussion. You hear about concussion in sports all the time. But um, through talking with our doctors, we're like, no, there's something more of an issue, and we need you to go see a neurologist. And that's how I got sent to Barrows. The main issue I had was word finding, because I damaged the left temporal part of my brain, which is, deals with language. And so the is like I would know what I wanted to say, but I couldn't find a word. And the, the example I always give was once I was in speech therapy, they were showing you pictures. And they, I lived in Arizona my whole life, and I was showing a picture of a cactus. And I was staring at it, and I couldn't find the word for cactus. I could find the word saguaro, but I couldn't find cactus. And so it was stuff like that, but consistently. The first thing I noticed about Barrows was really how much they cared about the whole recovery process. The, the first day you go in, they talk about all your symptoms, and then they evaluate you beyond the symptoms you have with evaluating the images that have been taken. And then before you leave is you meet with a counselor. And so they're not just cared about making sure your brain heals the way it should heal. They're cared about how you're doing personally and emotionally and making sure you're in the right place and where you need to be to recover well. One thing I know I struggle with is my brain injury is that I always feel like, you know, especially as an athlete, I feel like, you know, this is something I should be able to try harder to get through. Especially, like, one of the things after traumatic brain injury is, like, focus. I feel like I should just work harder at focusing better. And so I know that's one thing I had, I still struggle with is with my brain injury. So I don't know if maybe if other people, that they just keep thinking, you know, this is my, my burden, I can deal with this myself. I would recommend you go to Barrows, and they'll assure you that it's not your effort, it's not something you can control, which is something that's really hard to accept. That's one of the struggling things with the brain injury, is that it's truly beyond your control, and it's not like a physical injury like I had for my accident, where you can just re rehabilitate it and you know you're working hard to fix it. And so that goes back to the support that Barrows gives, that they give you more than just the recovery you need, but also the support to deal with how you handle those injuries. We're at the pool here today because I'm on the ASU swim team here. Last year after the accident, I had to redshirt the whole year and had to work slowly back in on my own. I couldn't practice with the team until only like three or four months ago. Last summer, I was able to compete at Olympic trials, which was really cool. But it would be awesome to finish off my college career at the College National Championships. I just really like to thank them for all the time and effort they put in. I, mean, I know they have a lot of patients coming in and out, just to always come in and, and to feel like you're an important patient and then always feel like they're dealing with you and not thinking about someone else while they're while you happen to be in their way.